in a world where the odds are stacked against them, where society dictates their limitations, exists a breed of extraordinary individuals who defy the boundaries of fate. They are the undefeatable heroes, the relentless dreamers, and the architects of their own destiny. They are the ones who rise from the depths of adversity to claim their rightful place among the stars. With their unwavering dedication and tireless hard work, they not only transform their own lives but become beacons of inspiration for generations to come. Let's explore the successful journey of one such living legend, the star basketball player Michiel Jordan. I feel like I'm the most fierce competitor there is. I don't think I'm ever going to find something to equal the game of basketball for me. I know Jesus worked seven days a week. On six days, he rested on Sunday, didn't he? But well, Michael Jordan played on Sunday. I'm not sure people really know how good this guy is. Michael Jordan at his best. There's very few people on this planet that can do this. For me, Michael Jordan was, it was a killer. It didn't matter. He wanted to come in and kill you. The six-time NBA champion and NBA Finals MVP has marveled us all with his achievements on the basketball court. While we all know that the NBA is a five-time regular season MVP is also a 14-time All-Star and 10-time scoring champion, there is a complete saga of hard work, dedication, and perseverance that very few know about. Michael Jordan's stardom journey was not paved with gold from the start. It was a path laced with obstacles and challenges, but he refused to be defeated. Get ready to be inspired by how adversities are turned into success as we explore the star basketball player's life, struggles, and rise to the top of the world. Born on the 17th of February 1963 in Brooklyn, New York, Jordan was a gifted athlete from a young age. He moved to Wilmington, North Carolina with his family when he was 11. Michael Jordan was a pro at basketball, baseball, and football. Despite this extraordinary talent of mastering more than one game, he did not have the success served to him on a silver platter. While attending Laney High School in Wilmington, North Carolina, he faced rejection and disappointment when he was initially cut from the varsity basketball team. Instead of surrendering to despair, Jordan let his determination roar, turning rejection into motivation. mid-range was so so unbelievable and getting to the rim he could finish with either hand he was he was so flashy but he was also so fundamentally sound you know so he had everything covered he honed his skills with unwavering dedication pushing himself beyond limits others deemed impossible when it's time to to get a bucket i mean mj was that dude to take over a game Little did he know that these early struggles would fuel his ascent to greatness. Jordan enrolled at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, in 1981. He played college basketball for the university and led the Tar Heels to an NCAA championship in 1982. In 1984, Chicago Bulls selected him as the third overall pick in the National Basketball Association draft. Jordan quickly became one of the best players in the league when he led the Bulls to six NBA championships in the 1990s. Elevating his game to unimaginable levels, he captivated audiences worldwide with his breathtaking dunks, mesmerizing dribbling skills, and unwavering competitive spirit. Michael Jordan's graceful, powerful, and flashy dunks were a thing of beauty. From the free throw line and the windmill dunk to the reverse and alley oop dunk, Jordan made slamming the ball through the hoop look like a piece of cake. NBA's top scorer for a record breaking 10 seasons was nicknamed Air Jordan and his airness for his unmatched leaps. He was also ranked the NBA's most valuable player five times. At this point, he was recognized as the most famous athlete worldwide. A long list of the world's top brand endorsements followed shortly after adding to his net worth. 
but making it to the top NBA players list was not easy as pie for Jordan. The challenges that awaited Michael Jordan as he leapt from college basketball to the grand stage of the NBA were real and complicated. Career 33 point per game average in the postseason for Michael Jordan would have something to do with that. Michael Jordan winning six NBA Finals, six NBA Finals MVP and never allowing the series to go seven games would have something to do with that. Uh, for 12 straight for 12 straight years okay that would have something to do with that and that's in the postseason too Jordan was one of those guys that he was not just out to beat you he was out to annihilate you take your heart right out of your chest to Jordan encountered a high level of competition in the NBA he was up against seasoned veterans renowned players who had already established themselves in the league it was a different ball game altogether, where the physicality and speed of the game demanded quick adaptation. Initially, Jordan faced skepticism and doubters questioning whether his electrifying play style could translate to professional success. Some even doubted his ability to transition seamlessly from a college star to an NBA superstar. His 6'6 height was considered too short for an NBA player, but Jordan, fueled by his unwavering self-belief, used this doubt to fuel his fire. He took it as a personal challenge to prove himself and show the world that he belonged among the elite. Jordan was one of those guys that he was not just out to beat you. He was out to annihilate you, to take your heart right out of your chest, to, to just, just make you just bow to his greatness practice. Crying out loud. It was like that. That is the Jordan style, which he has emphasized in many of his interviews. My attitude is that if you push me towards something that you think is a weakness, then I will turn that perceived weakness into a strength. And Jordan always means what he says. Relying on his work ethic and an insatiable hunger to improve, Jordan dedicated himself to mastering the nuances of the professional game. He studied his opponent's strategies, defensive schemes, and tendencies. He worked diligently to enhance his physical strength, refine his skills, and expand his basketball IQ. Jordan also recognized that the NBA was a faster, more physical league, so he focused on refining his fundamentals and developing a more well-rounded game. He honed his mid-range jump shot and improved his post-up game, becoming a formidable force on both ends of the court. But it wasn't just his physical game that he honed. Jordan also embraced the mental aspect of the sport. His airness sharpened his mental fortitude, cultivating a winning mindset to propel him through the challenges. Career 33 point per game average in the postseason for Michael Jordan would have something to do with that. Michael Jordan winning six NBA Finals, six NBA Finals MVP and never allowing the series to go seven games would have something to do with that. Michael Jordan averaging better than 30 uh, for 12 straight for 12 straight years okay that would have something to do with that and that's in the postseason too he developed an unshakable confidence in his abilities and a relentless desire to win with the burden of challenges criticism and doubts jordan also carried the burden of expectations being heralded as a top draft pick and a future superstar meant the pressure was immense everyone expected him to deliver to live up to the lofty standards set for him and Jordan did not disappoint. Instead of succumbing to the pressure, he relished the opportunity to prove himself on the grandest stage. He embraced the spotlight, performing with intensity and excellence, leaving fans and critics in awe. With a burning desire to succeed, Michael Jordan unleashed his fury on the basketball court. He dominated the game, defying gravity and exhibiting otherworldly finesse and grace. Even at the peak of his career, Jordan kept looking for ways to improve his game continuously and truly define the game of basketball, becoming a global icon. But there is more to Jordan than just basketball. The entire world was taken aback when the legend announced his retirement from the game in 1993 when he was at the peak of his career. Why? Because of a disability, or age, or boredom, or ego. No, it was a career change. He turned his focus on attempting to play baseball, a sport he hadn't played since he was a teenager, knowing that millions of people would be watching his every swing. 
throw, and pop fly. But Jordan does not believe in failing without effort. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something. But I can't accept not trying. By the time Jordan retired in 2003, he had become a symbol of hope and inspiration for countless individuals worldwide. Michael Jordan's life is a reminder that no obstacle is insurmountable, no dream too big, and no challenge unbeatable. All you have to do is foster a growth mindset and continue trying to deliver your 100% despite failures. As Jordan says, I've always believed that if you put in the work, the results will come. Tell us in the comment section what you learned from Jordan's life.